Friday afternoon. Hey guys, check out the ladies. So these are uh, my five replacement heifers and uh, a cow. This cow's been a pain in my butt. Man, I love her though, and she just has, she has great calves, but she's getting a little older and she may have to go. I've had some foot problems with her off and on over the years. We've had to dart her a couple of times. She keeps having a calf, but here lately, she's getting a little bit uh, cuckoo. She jumped the fence. She left the main herd, jumped the fence to come over here with the heifers. I guess she thought the grass was greener on this side of the pasture, but that's the one thing I want you guys to look at. Look at how this ryegrass has just absolutely popped in the last couple of weeks. Uh, boy, last night we got two and a half inches of rain. Last week we got rain. We've been getting rain all the time. And the temperature's starting to warm up, getting in the 60s and 70s. We had one day close to 80. And I mean, this stuff is just exploding, which is good. Because let me tell you what, I don't have much hay left, so I need this ryegrass to pop. So they're starting to chase it a lot. The calves are starting to pop. It's a good Friday afternoon. I'm pretty happy at the moment. So what we're doing? Well, we're not doing the Greg Judy method. We do roll hay occasionally, but uh, I'll tell you what, the ultimate goal is to get some carbon back in the ground. And you can see where we've been feeding rings, but what we're doing though, is we're moving that hay ring about every week. It does leave a little bit behind, but you can see right here, this was a bare spot where we had the feeder. So I'm gonna feed that roll on top of that. Sure, they're gonna waste a little, it's gonna fall around, but it will help fill in that bare spot and it will grow. So different approaches, different things. But yes, unrolling is the best practice I do in towards that, but it's so wet today, I don't wanna put the hay down on the wet ground. So feeding by ring today makes better sense to me. All right, guys, tell me what you think about this group of ladies. Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful day, Saturday morning at the farm. It's cold right now. I don't know, 45-ish or something. A little bit of a breeze out of the south. But the good news is uh, it's going to warm up pretty nice today. By this afternoon, it's going to be like 77 degrees. So uh, excited about that. We got two and a half inches of rain. It is wet, wet, wet. Man, it is just so wet. So, uh, trying to keep the tractor off the pasture today if I can. So we're gonna do a little, uh, we got a fence project coming up uh, this spring on the back of this property. And uh, as a result of that, another fence row project. But we're not gonna get extreme on this one. We're gonna do what I call a partial repair. But first, we got calves popping everywhere. So let's just take a quick little look here and see what we got. This one up here is what we're calling 
Socks. That's the nickname we gave him. This calf is so ugly, uh, he's cute. But uh, regardless if it's a bull or if it's a uh, heifer, this one is not sticking around. It doesn't fit the uh, color scheme of Heritage Farms. Whoa, looky there. These black cows are camouflaged, so you really got to pay attention to them. I also see one back in the woods over here. It's kind of hard with the shadows. Look here right there. Oh, we got a little baby calf. Hi, Mama. What you got? Looky there. So there's another one right there. So that's like eight. Hi. Hi, gorgeous. whether or not I want to put a gate here uh, just for access, another data point or not. Uh, we'll figure that out. But I'm going to put new stretch post, metal stretch post in on this corner. The fence itself is not terrible. So what I'm thinking about is just clearing all of the trees off of this fence and then maybe putting up two new strands of wire. So uh, you'd have a seven wire fence at that point, but uh, two of the wires in the middle would be brand new, which is where most of your calves or uh, cows are going to poke their head through anyway. But you can see, I'm going to come through here and just cut the cedars off. There's a lot of little cedars at the base. There's some oak trees along that line that I'll probably leave. Some of these cedars, I may just cut off fence post high, open it up a little bit just so the drive-by appeal is better. It just kind of give you a snapshot. But, uh, most of the stuff is on the other side of the fence, but you see right here, this is a great example. So if you lose, I don't know, 12 feet from uh, where the grass is to where the fence line is, if you lose 12 feet all the way down this fence row, first thing you know, you've lost an acre of grazing land. And uh, I need every blade of grass I can get in this operation. So we're gonna work on this, see if we can get it cleaned up. We'll come in here and put new stretch post on each side. This is the, one of the main drains that comes through. See, we put a culvert in down there. So we're gonna work on that. Hold on, could get a little bouncy. Man, it is just wet, wet, wet. But all right, 
so this is the uh, of course the other property we were or same property we were working on last weekend over there when we were burning brush but uh we're gonna start to get this thing in line so that's what we're doing we're going all the way down this fence row all right guys wish us good luck we've got some work to do find find the right gear all right let's find us a spot to park get set up home base We'll get this thing started. More to follow. Five. It's okay. We're not gonna. Boy, she's a pretty little thing. Look at that little face. She's sassy. <laughs> little one right there. Look at her. Little one. She's got a very pretty face. Aren't y'all cute? That's a pretty one, 793. Did you just have her? Okay, we're gonna mess with her. Hi, well we got some pretty ones. What a great day. Look at this, just got to see a baby calf being born. One of my white uh, two-year-olds, actually three-year-old, look at that man. Glory be to God, what a great day. Well, I got Dale back in his element. I'll tell you what, man, turn that guy loose on a tractor and get out of his way, he can make stuff happen. So we had a clump of uh, cedar trees over here after two and a half inches of rain. I mean, the soil is just so, so wet. So man, he's just pulling them down and shoving them around. You can see the piles that we're working on. Get back to what I was doing. So, uh, man, we've been getting it this morning. So, uh, there you go. So this is the fence row that we were talking about. Actually, let me come around apologize for the jerkiness of the camera. So that is a section we have not done, but look how far those cedars are overhanging. So we're coming down here and I'm just whacking anything I can on this road. And when you get back up here and you start to look going down the fence, boy, just look at what we're picking up. We are gonna get a lot more uh, grazing out of this. Also, we don't have to worry about as many tree limbs falling on the uh, fence because anything that looks sus suspect, I'm taking out right now. And then uh, once again, once we get the uh, demo work done here, we'll put in new uh, stretch posts and uh, we're probably gonna leave this existing fence and we'll come in here wherever the wood posts are that's rotted off, we'll drive new T-post and uh, We'll probably add two new strands of bob wire because this wire is in pretty good shape. So this being a road here, I don't want my cows getting out. So this is this section is going to have seven strands of bob wire. We'll put the two new strands kind of spread out in the middle where the cows are most likely to stick their head through. Um, I do use four barb shelf filled wire and the uh, four barb that gets their attention, let me tell you. So, all right, guys, so there you go. A lot more work to do, but what a glorious day. Beautiful day. Calves are popping like crazy. There's the one that was born this morning. Look at that, the calf is up, it's sucking. Oh God, I love nature. Hey, Saturday afternoon, I want you to look at this first year heifer right here, man. Look at that, got a good calf behind her. Look at that bag, that's what I'm impressed with, man. That's some Simmental Angus Vigor right there. All right, what are we doing? Well, I'm back on this fence row project. We're gonna be putting a new fence in here at Telephone One on the back. We're trimming this cedar fence row up. It's a county road, so I'm not gonna to totally clean it out because of the, uh, the amount of trees on the other side. But boy, let me tell you what, the cows are just curious as can be. Man, it's been cloudy and overcast and misting all day. I think we'll make a uh, pecan video this morning. But uh, I tell you what, the ladies are looking pretty good and they're doing all right. They are just so interested in what is going on here, man. They're hearing chainsaws and uh, look 
at that. Ooh wee. The girls are looking all right. All right, all right, all right. And look at this good mama over here, man. She's got a new calf. She's like, ah, I'm not bringing him over here to the excitement. I'm gonna keep him away, or her away, I should say. I was kind of wanting to get to look, look at that calf. I think he's got a little white tip on his tail. Uh-oh. Boy, guys, I'm in trouble now. Here she comes, man. My beautiful wife, the CEO, CFO. That's right. That's my girl. She's coming to check out to see what I'm doing. All right, guys. Well, I got to get back to it. I got to at least act like I'm doing something because she is on her way over here to inspect the quality. Good morning, everybody. Hey, pulling into the uh, pecan orchard, and I want you to look at the water that's just standing absolutely everywhere. I mean, we, we've just had so much rain. I mean, I know, count your blessings, right? But I mean, look at there, you can kind of see that new tree I planted uh, a few weeks back. Right there, man. It, it is just so wet. So we got a future project coming where I'm gonna have to dig a uh, irrigation ditch to get move some of this water around there's just too much of it too much but uh that's kind of what we're doing here uh, we're just pulling in it's sunday morning it's cold 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 so we're gonna try to get a couple of things done here and uh, call it a rest and just try to rest and relax maybe watch the end of the players uh golf tournament today and take a nap maybe Maybe that's on the agenda today. Ooh, I'm kind of liking that idea. All right, we'll give you an update here in a second. Hoping we got some new baby calves when we pull in the uh, pastures here. 